Virginity, lost story, if you lost it. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Naya. Today I'm back with another video and today's video is a Q&A. So I asked y'all to give me questions on my Instagram and got a lot of questions that y'all want me to answer so let's get into the video so the first question let's see hmm i gotta scroll through this because it's a lot of them and uh if you hear something in the background i don't know if y'all will but my uh peeps ain't watching the movie so yeah um first question is biggest goal for this year um i say the biggest goal for this year is to most definitely be successful in my music if y'all don't know or some people some of y'all know but if y'all don't know already i am an artist slash producer so i'm trying to find a way to get my music out there where most people can hear it and you know just see where i'm coming from and also try to try to get a name for myself like try to see if this social media influencer stuff works and things like that so that's one of my biggest goals is to achieve them what made you start YouTube um what made me start YouTube was I was a freshman in high school and like I always I always used to watch people do YouTube all the time and I used to be like hmm I wonder if that could be me one day you know just to like be able to have supporters be able to just like document my life day day through day you know and um also like you know get paid or whatever of course you know that's that's really where the money at for real but um yeah like just just being able to like interact with people try to collab do, do new things get more opportunities stuff like that and youtube is like kind of fun to do but one thing that is bad about youtube i can say like if you want to get into youtube I would suggest like to make sure you have time for it because you gotta edit and all this type of stuff you gotta find a way when to put out a YouTube video and if you got other things on your plate like YouTube wouldn't be the good idea for at that certain point but if you don't got nothing to do and you got time and space and opportunity then yeah unless you get an editor then you be straight but like yeah just doing YouTube I think it's like I really like it you know it's something that I'm, I'm trying to start because right now I got like probably like 181 subscribers right now but like you know I'm trying to I'm trying to grow so yeah what was <laughs> what was the most awkwardest talking stage you ever had names and all can't do names at all but um <laughs> can't do names but I feel like the most awkwardest talking stage I ever had was oh my gosh okay so like middle school none of them really count for real but like it was a talking stage in middle school i went through i went through a white boy stage yes i know went through a white boy stage and i remember we were like i don't know <laughs> i don't know how i don't remember really remember how it started but all i know is like i we only talked for two days Cause like I wasn't feeling it, and I was like, ah, mm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this one. But yeah, so it was like, and it was like the way, like his, he was cool from what I remember. He was cool, you know, no problem with him. But like, it's just the vibe. It wasn't it, you know. It was, it was like, okay, I, I can't, I can't really relate, you know. I can't really talk to you for real. Like this, this is, I'm not comfortable sitting here anymore, you know. But no this on him because you know we don't we don't talk to the to the, to this day we don't ah, i just started like a mug sorry we don't talk like right now like we haven't been in communication for years but you know he was a cool person though um what colleges are you thinking about going to so right now i'm gonna give y'all my top five my top five is texas southern university uh clark atlanta university um then there's um What's that school? Uh, what was it? FAMU? FAMU, I think. Yeah, FAMU. 
um that's four and then my last my new interest is north carolina a and t and cat i'm starting to try to get into that i've been looking into that school but not really too much but like it's starting to come back up because like you know i want to go to hbcu and i heard it got a lot of good things about NCAT actually what's your favorite memory you made in school um, I'd say one of my favorite memories that I made in school was most definitely, I'm in the marching band in my school. So like we go out of town and we do a whole lot of things around the world. So like I say, one of my favorite memories was most definitely going to Mardi Gras for the first time in forever. I had a, we, we marched in the parade. It was cool. It was very fun. Great experience. I was a freshman. And uh, it was very, it was a, it was a good, good time to be alive, you know. <laughs> it was a good, it was a good little atmosphere. It was a lot of people though, but it was very cool. Um, wow, can't answer that one. <laughs> um, celebrity crush. Hmm. Mm. Oops, dropped my phone. I'd say. Um, I say my celebrity crush right now would be, hmm, uh, I don't know if y'all know who Rome Flynn is, but yeah, you know, you know, yeah. Anyways, okay, next, uh, favorite movie, Love and Basketball, hands down, has always been my movie. Anytime that movie come on, best believe I'm watching it like I've never seen it before. Like, to the point where if I miss a part, I'm rewinding. Because, like, what? No. I don't I don't miss no parts of the movie. Every time it come on TV, I drop everything and I watch that movie. Like, guess how much? Like, I just love that movie. Uh, favorite food? Hmm. Wings. Let me... Love me a good 10 piece, you know? Look, look good 10 piece. Have you ever thought about modeling? Well, I, fun fact about me, I used to model like years ago. Um, would I do it again in the future? If the opportunity comes up, yes I would. Because I actually, I actually have fun with it. Like I was, a, I was actually able to get close to being in like a commercial and on the TV show and stuff like that, so like, I would do it again, cause modeling could move you into acting as well. So, yeah, oh, bro, I dropped my phone one more time. Okay, where do you see yourself in ten years? Ah, <sighs> ten years, I see myself definitely in another state, preferably Houston. Living my dream, living my life as a, as a successful uh, producer, um, a good job, which is be like producer and stuff like that. Um, having a good like having a a big fan base and like supportive system, you know. Um, of course, being wealthy, you know, giving back and. All that other st all that good stuff and um being able to travel around the world so like being able to travel around the world doing my music sorry y'all but um yeah that's where i see myself in 10 years i don't know if that was a good answer but yeah who was your childhood crush mm, i don't really like i don't like Meaning celebrity wise or like my age wise, cause well there where well, there was where well, there was this one boy or whatever. What well, I remember, I did have a crush on him, but it didn't go nowhere, cause you know how little kids are. They don't ever tell you. They be like, my friend said that she thinks you're cute, and they run off type stuff, but. Yeah, that's that's about it. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. If you know me, if anybody knows me, and like personally, they know my favorite color is blue. Like anything, that's why I got the, the blue ones back there. Anything that's blue, give it to me. 
but unless it's like i don't like dark blue for some reason something about dark blue it just, it just don't sit right with me like i don't really like it even though my pillows that i got on my bed are dark blue but like give me give me like a baby blue a cyan a, if i said that right cayenne cyan i think something like that turquoise you know the good little the good little blues you know light blues all that give me them but like a dark blue not really messing with it what are your goals as far as social media um like i said earlier to get to to actually like to get my name out there to get a good following like you know um to to make it basically to make it like to the point where i go out in public folks be like oh aren't you da -da 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 -da. i watch your videos all the time like that that would just make my day you know Favorite brand of clothes. Um, I say my favorite brand of clothes. Let me see. Cause like I right now I'm not really a designer person. Like I don't like I don't think I own the most like own stuff I have as far as brand is Nike. Like I don't really wear like like Dior or Gucci or like all that other stuff over oh, Louis Vuitton. I don't really wear like you know but yeah i don't really i don't really wear none of that like i wear like nike and stuff so i wouldn't really say like a favorite brand of clothes that i have but i just say like because i'm not i'm not really into designer right now shoot if i get if like if i end up like getting paid like buku then yeah i'll I have a, i have a favorite brand and it'll most likely be like dior or something like that like dior for sure but yeah the taken am i taken or am i single i am very much single your top five music artists okay so here we go here we, here we go here we go j cole number one scissor number two number two three um let's see three janae aiko four um no 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 yeah 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 four mariah the scientist and five um Brent Fry is. This not it's not in order. It's not really in order. It's just my top five. But yeah. If you're going to college, what will you major in? I would major in business management, um, and music production. What inspired you to become an influencer? We'll keep it short and sweet. But what inspired me to become an influencer was basically like doing what i love like i like recording myself talking to like talking to a camera i'm not i'm i'm trying to get out of that shy thing that i do when i'm in public and i try to record but like i just i love it you know and um like share my life to other people what do you love the most about music i love the way it makes me feel meaning it makes i can't go a day without music i'm being so serious like when i wake up let gotta listen to music on the way to school listen to music when i'm trying to do my work listen to music <laughs> go to sleep listen to music like it's just music is my life basically like that's that's it's like I don't see it's I have backup plans, but my main is my music and that's just something that I've just like it is it makes me feel it's my it's my safe place, basically. I feel I feel safe when I have music and I'm able to listen to something like you know, basically. So yeah. Are you working on anything at the moment? Um, I did just drop an album. It, I'll put it in the link in the description so y'all can go. You know, I mess up my album or whatever. Or my EP, because it's like six songs. But yeah, and I'm trying to I'm trying to get some new music out. So stay tuned for that. How hard would you say band is? 
Well, when it comes to band, um, I wouldn't say, well, I would say it is hard, but it isn't at the same time, because if you've never played an instrument before, <clears throat> excuse me, if you never played an instrument before, going straight into band can be very difficult and something very hard to adapt to if you fresh but if you have a sense like if you if you done band in middle school and you go to band in high school you should at least know the basics so you're able to to you know go to the next level but if you just now started fresh it might be a little minute because you gotta go to beginning band and stuff like that and there is some responsibilities and it's very time consuming but it's also really fun too when you get when you get used to it and you know what you're doing and all this and you starting to you know what's the word what's the word what's the word what's the word i'm looking for what's the what's the word i don't know when you try to like when you when you started to get comfortable with it then it shouldn't be that hard but I love it. Personally, I love it. And anybody else that you know that is a part of a band or anything like that from what you see, it's a lot of fun. But it is a lot of hard work, though, that comes with it. Woo! It says, virginity, lost story, if you lost it. Um, I, am, I did not lose it. I am still a virgin, so yeah. Okay, let's see. You got a man? Nah, I don't. I do not have a man. I am single right now. Um, all right, let's see if I got any other questions. See how many other questions I got. Okay. So, favorite snack to eat? Okay, so I say my favorite snack to eat would definitely be fruit. Aw, I know, I know. Fruit, really? Fruit is good for you. Fruit is like A1 top tier, okay? If there was like anything I could ever snack on, it would be fruit, for real. Like, when I don't have fruit in the house, I'd be so, so sad. Cause like I'll be wanting my little strawberries, my little mangoes, you know, my little my little grapes, you feel me? Like I love making smoothies. I love eating fruit, like acai bowls and all that. Uh whatever. Whatever you call it. But yeah, that's like my favorite snack my favorite snack to eat. Alright, I'm back. Okay. <sighs> Where is your favorite place to go on vacation? Um I like to go, I've been to like, ugh, I've been to Mexico two times. It was fun. I liked that, I enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't say that's my favorite place, but that's, as far as like out of the country, that's the only place I've been. But I would like to explore and go other places outside of the country. Preferably, um, Greece, Bora Bora, you know, Hawaii, and it was Dubai, but I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Dubai, and I am not finished on a yacht in Dubai anymore, <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, I didn't heard a lot, of, I heard a lot about them, like, they rules is very strict, is what I heard. How many countries have you been to? One. Wait. <coughs> Excuse me. One. What is your favorite TV show? <sighs> Martin. Have you ever met a celebrity? Yes, I have. I've met three or four. Yeah, three or four. Who is your favorite actor? Zendaya. What was your favorite childhood toy? Um... There's a lot of them actually. Um, I would say my favorite childhood toy. I wouldn't say it'd be a Barbie, but because I barely played with dolls, like 
you would think like the average little girl play with dogs. I play with dogs a lot, but towards a certain age, I stopped playing with dogs. But I won't say it's my favorite toy. I said my favorite toy of all time. Ooh. Was it like, was a, um, I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. Um, dang it. I don't remember. Ah, I wish I remembered, but I don't. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Somebody said, the, what is your, what is your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment? Oh my gosh, let me think. Um, I was, I wouldn't say it's an embarrassing moment, but I wouldn't say it wasn't because nobody knew but me because I played it off so good. I mean, so well, but it was when I was in elementary school and <laughs> I don't know why I remember this. We, I was in elementary school and we had a play that day. No, we had a, we had a recital. So for my music class or Spanish class, Spanish class, we had to sing "Let It Go" in Spanish, right? And so I had to, I had to use the restroom really bad. And at that young of an age, I couldn't really hold my bladder like that, you know. But yeah, so I had to go really bad. I was trying to hold it. I was trying to hold it, and I was like, I, I had, I, ah, I had whispered to my friend next to me. I was like, I gotta use the restroom. I gotta use the restroom so bad, like. But I do not want to like go. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that that's how the conversation went. But yeah, so you know, we singing or whatever, and then we get to the chorus, and then like everything just let like all doors open. Like it's no longer on lock. The child's lock is off. Doors have opened. Or whatever. And you know, just running down the leg, I'm like, oh god. And it's to the point where like we on this, we on these stairs, these color stairs. Like them little elementary, you know, the little stages you used to have where you, you stand and you got kids behind you on top. You're in, you're on one row, somebody's on the other row, and somebody's behind you on the other row. Or whatever. It was like that. And so I was in the middle row, so it was, it was I think it was, was the kids behind me? From what I remember, I think it was no kids behind me. I, I don't know. But it was people on the side of me, though. <laughs> so... I had on some tights too. I had on some tights and a sh I, I remember what I had on though for some reason. I remember me having on some skirt, a skirt and some tights on or whatever. And so like, yeah, I was standing beside people and it was just going down. I was like, you know what? Freak it. Let it go. So I kept going. <laughs> so basically I peed on myself. That it was an embarrassing moment, but no, it was like literally when the when the play was over, I mean when the song was over, I ran down the stairs like all applause. Okay, I ran down the stairs and went straight to the bathroom. Like, you can give me a hug later. Or whatever. And I remember looking down and it was just a puddle. That's the puddle right there. It's so gross. But like, I think I was like five, six, maybe something like that. But I guess it's, I wouldn't say it's embarrassing because nobody knew, but it is embarrassing to me because it's like, oh my gosh, I just did that. But yeah, first fight. Um, I'm gonna do like two more and I'm done. Cause this, I think it's a long video. But first fight, I've never been in a fight. I almost wasn't. I almost was about to be in a fight, but I've never been in like a hand-to-hand -hand altercation, you know. So, cause like I try, I try to stay out of those situations, you know. But yeah, let's see if we can find one more and then uh, I'm done. What's your subscriber goal by the end of the year? So we're in January right now, and we're far from December. So my subscriber goal to reach is either 10K, yeah, it's 10K. 10K by, 10K by December. And if I get more than 10K and go to like, I don't know, 50k, you know, shoot, let's do it, or so be it, you know, but 10k or 50k is most definitely my subscriber goal by the end of the year. Alright, that's it, that's about it for my Q&A, but yeah, that's the end of the video, guys, and if you stay to the end of the video, I rock with you, and thank you for watching, and thanks for tuning in, 
Uh, make sure y'all comment down below what y'all want to see next. Any other content y'all want to see from me. And let me know how, how much y'all like this video. And uh, make sure y'all give me a thumbs up. Put, turn on the post notifications so you know next time I'm posting. And um, stay tuned for new music that's coming out soon. And yeah, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. And before, oh sorry, oh my gosh, I had some chicken earlier. I had some chicken, you know, the birds. But before I leave and close out, today's motivational speech is, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way because it can set you up for great things in the long run. Love you guys.